Begin with a clean face and apply moisturizer. This will help keep your skin comfy under all the makeup and special effects product we will be applying. Now take white face paint, paste, or aqua color and blush it around your face using a cosmetic wedge. The nice thing is, you don't have to make it neat or make it even. You want it to look patchy and sickly. To layer on top of the white paste, I got a cream based off beige and blush it around my skin in the same way I put on the white. I also took some dark red blood cream from the same palette and put some on my high cheekbones. It's best to be asymmetrical. Treat your face more like an art canvas you're ready to splatter with paint than a regular casual everyday makeup. Take a gray or black eyeshadow and using a blush or powder brush, work on contouring to create a more skeletal bony face. Zombies are extremely malnourished so you want a hollow sickly appearance. Work with your actual bone structure on your neck and face. I'm redefining my cheekbones, my jaw, the border of my face, my clavicles, and indents on my neck to make me appear more strained and skinny. Take the same red pigment from before and using your ring finger or a wedge, apply it under your eyes and onto your lids too. Create that sore, sleep deprived, sunken in look. Take your black eyeliner and define all around the eyes. This is optional of course, but it greatly helps dramatize your expressions and brings less light to your eyes. I took a deep red colored lip liner and messily defined only one half of my lips. I used a dark ruby colored lipstick on top of this and still stayed mostly to one side of my lips. I added some of the red pigment from the palette from before. Using a regular Crafts paintbrush, dot some all around your face and random spots. But your mouth is the most important spot to have blood, especially if you're a zombie. Now that you have your dry texture, take red lipstick or red paste and fill in the hole. Layer on shades of red with what you have and add that sickly paste color onto the white area of the Mod Podge to help blend it with your skin. Super fun part, take a tube of liquid blood and pour into areas where you created wounds and anywhere else you please. Rip up the rest and do the same. Now for your hair. You can spray paint your hair white or gray or even wear a wig. Even so, messing up and teasing your regular hair will still have a creepy effect if you don't have either of these. Now time to add the eyes. Zombies are meat-eating creatures, so they usually develop very sharp teeth. I applied what I had, which were vampire fangs, but using a full set of plates and teeth works too. You can also stain your teeth with special effects. Even though the witch wears a ripped white tank top, I decided to do something a little bit different. I bought this ripped up cloth at the spirit store and wrapped it around myself to make it into a top. Then, taking spray blood, I got bloody. Time for the signature part, her black claws. 
My method to easily create these clouds is something very accessible, aluminum foil. Try to keep them the same proportions as human hands, just elongated. You can even shape on fingernails. Aluminum is super moldable, sharp, and stays in place. Make sure the aluminum is deep enough for your fingers so that it doesn't fall off easily. Interchange your new clouds and paint them black with touches of red. Her clothes are black, but they get pretty bloody too, so try to use a combination of colors. And well, now you're the witch. <laughs>